Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to format one of our SD cards on one of our uh, printers here at 3D Potter. You may have to format the SD card on your printer, which goes into this slot right, he right here. Uh, it would be in this orientation while plugged into the printer, and you just plop it right out of here. And this may need to be done if you have any sort of a power surge or if you turn the printer off while it's in the middle of uh, uploading a file to the printer, and that can cause the SD card to be corrupted. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take the SD card out of your printer and put it into an SD card reader. So here I have that done right here. There's an SD card here right in this reader and we are going to format it. So to format your SD card, you want to open a file explorer program. As you can see here, we have random files and nothing to see here, just some random files and formatting the card takes everything off of it. So if you can copy the files that were on there from before, go ahead and try and recover them and make a backup of them and copy them to your uh, local computer hard drive. So we're gonna right click the removable disk and click on format. This will erase everything on the card. We wanna format it in FAT32 uh, format. Now that that's done, we need to put new files onto the SD card. So you can get to this Google Drive section off of our FAQ under uh, printer files for your size machine. In this case, we're gonna grab the micro files. We're gonna right click the whole micro folder, micro 10.2.2, and click download. This will download the files as a zip file and they must be unzipped correctly onto the SD card or it will not work correctly. So here, files are done downloading now, and we're going to open them with WinRAR. You do not have to use WinRAR, it is just a very good program to unzip files. So here on the right, we have the blank SD card, and here on the left, we have the file we just downloaded off of the internet. We're going to open this folder that says micro 10.2.2, maybe that was one more point two, but that's okay. We're going to copy these four files. G codes, macros, sys, and www, and put them onto the SD card as they are unzipped in these four folders. So on the SD card, you should see G codes, macros, sys, and www. These folders all have lots of files in them. Do not change or edit any of these files, just leave them as they are. Okay, now that the micro files are now on the SD card, we will now plug them into our duet board. Now I'm going to boot this duet board up by just stealing some power from this USB cable. This isn't needed to make the duet board operate correctly. You can just turn the power switch on on our computer. When the duet board is powered up, this blue light right here is the Wi-Fi indicator light. It should turn on almost immediately and stay solid on. This indicates that a Wi-Fi signal is being broadcasted. We are gonna check our Wi-Fi networks that are available to connect to. Let me try and get a good focus on that. And as you can see here, 3DP-10 is available to connect to. So we're going to connect to 3DP-10. And we will open a web browser. We do not have internet because we are directly connected to the board. And we are going to type in the printer's address, which is 192.168.42.14. It may take about 10 to 15 seconds to load. But once done, it should be quite fast and you have full control over your printer. That is how to flash one of the SD cards or reformat and put the new files back onto the card. Thank you.